Hey, it's AJ Powers. I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the most common questions that I get when it comes to financing, and that is what is the difference between an FHA loan and a conventional loan? So with an FHA loan, there are a few things that are really good about it and a few things that maybe aren't extremely desirable. The few things that are really good, one, they have really low entry point as far as your credit score and how much you need down. So you can come in with as low as, let's just say a 620 FICO and as low as three and a half percent of the purchase price for your down payment. Those are obviously really good things. Uh, they're more flexible with other things such as previous short sales, foreclosures and bankruptcies. And they typically have some of the best interest rates and incentive to pay for some of your closing costs or even all of them. Uh, the negative of the FHA loan is that it has what's called private mortgage insurance. So basically you're paying to assure the lender that should something happen to your loan, they would get repaid through this mortgage insurance. So the way that that works is for every $100,000 that you borrow, it's gonna be 0.85% annually. So for instance, your loan is 100,000, every year you're gonna pay $800, $850 in private mortgage insurance. Um, in the past, this did come off the loan. This is now something that is currently on the life of the loan and will stay for the entire time that you have it. So that can definitely add up when you're talking about a $400,000 or $500,000 purchase price. You could be talking three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Um, the other thing to move into when we go to conventional would be uh, they have less restrictions for things like condos. So FHA, they actually have to have what's called an FHA approval. Um, not all the developments have it. There are some that are approved and some that aren't. Where conventional has less guidelines, that can make that a difference if you were looking for a condo or a townhome. Uh, with, with the conventional loans, there are some benefits as well. You can go as low as 3% down, but typically you need to have better credit score, 680 or 700 or above, and they actually tier their interest rates a little bit less um, on the lower end and then as your score goes up it's going to start getting more attractive so having a better score is going to be uh, a bigger difference with a conventional loan the other thing that's really big with the conventional loan is that you do have the ability to have that private mortgage insurance waived if you ever get to 78 percent loan to value of the property so let's just say you put three percent down today but your property improves by 20 percent in value in two years you can go back to your lender and have that removed uh, the other big thing, if you put 20% down initially, there's no mortgage insurance. So definitely a plus if you can do the conventional. Um, usually the people that I work with, if they're in a situation where they've got 3.5% or 5%, it's usually a better situation to try the 5% conventional if you can. So if you have any more questions about the differences between FHA and conventional and what might work for you, please feel free to give me a call, 619-886-5055, or you can email me at aj at powerspremiersd.com.